it's not just a technical challenge that we need to overcome. Uh, and I think the learnings that we've had as we go through this project have really emphasised that, yes, there are challenges in terms of standardisation of data and interoperability, which, which are absolutely key to success. But sometimes the more difficult things to overcome are the, the less technical aspects. So uh, the legal components, governance and cultural change, even all, all those uh, things that sit below the waterline and, and are sometimes uh, slightly invisible uh, when you're implementing these sorts of projects and programs have, have really come to the surface. And that collaborative coordination um, that you need to overcome those um, hurdles um, is, is really, really key. If, if we're not joined up in how we address those problems, then every time we try to undertake this type of, type of initiative, we're gonna um, move too slowly and, 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 and potentially fail. Um, Credo is just the start. It's that first uh, small step really into something that's gonna be potentially quite huge and, and, and something that, that shouldn't have a defined end because it, it's, it's, it's almost nebulous when you think about where it could go. So clearly there are future potential use cases within the environmental context but building on that, hopefully, by developing something that takes away some of the mystique around digital twins, uh, something very conceptual, providing something tangible that people can see and interact with and understand that will trigger new thoughts and ideas about how this will de develop and evolve and be applied in new, new ways within the environmental context and beyond.